took a huge amount of satisfaction from what he and his team achieved last night, and he's not going to show you one ounce of it. I believe he knew going in it was going to be much tougher than most people thought it was going to be, and I believe that going in he did not want to make this his team's Super Bowl crusade game against the whistleblowing sorry Colts that they were. I, I believe really? that he knew, yes, they were, the sorry Colts, but, but he knew all he needed was a W because guess what? Division rival Jets loom next Sunday. So he didn't want to get too high for this, even though his numbers say that he was quite ready for this because he goes 23 of 37 with, count them, four drop passes. Four drops. He throws for 312 yards that easily could have been 350 yards. Three touchdowns and one interception that was the most unfair interception, quote unquote, I think I've ever seen because obviously he hit Julian Edelman right in the yep. hands and it's this and up yep. in the air and it goes yep. for a pick six. And remember, he showed you, and he mentioned after the game, that he showed you some pocket movement that you don't always see from the guy that is often ridiculed as the unathletic dork that a lot of people think that Tom Brady is. And I thought he was masterful in the pocket and occasionally moving out of the pocket last night. You're not going to give him that, but he was. And that was after he lost his second left tackle. Most teams couldn't overcome this. Two left tackles gone Very in back-to-back -back weeks. Very good. Are you yeah. kidding me? You throw some kid in the game who's never even played, they move him to right mm -hmm. tackle, and then they just try to figure it out from there on. So sometimes Tom Brady is literally running for his life, but you don't know that because he's quicker and more athletic than most people give him credit for. But here's what I love the most about Tom Brady last night. We did not ever see psycho Tom. He showed no emotion all night because I think he was fearful of being too hyped for that game. So he wanted to rein himself back in, stay under control in a hostile environment, and surgically carve up the Colts. And that's exactly what he did. No trash talk, no pointing. The only emotion they showed all night was Julian Edelman off the first touchdown, ran to the back wall and just fired it against the Colts. The, the, he spiked it off the Colts. Uh, a sign on on the back of the the, the stadium wall. We can see that right now. Mm -hmm. And in the end, I, I got to say this: the bottom line to this game. Uh, allow me, just indulge me. This sure. was that the Patriots have a quarterback who's much better than the fourth year Indianapolis quarterback. And I know Andrew Luck was supposed to be banged up shoulder going into last night. I thought he was throwing it just fine. I didn't see any pain in his shoulder. It didn't it, you could it didn't indicate itself in the way he was throwing the football. Okay, but. I got to tell you, he's just extremely overrated. There's another big game that Andrew Luck came up small in. He was wild high a lot of the night. When it was time for him to make big plays, he did not make big plays. They had a one-point lead at halftime, and through the third quarter and much of the fourth, he struggled. That's the Andrew Luck I keep saying, show me something, if you're Andrew Luck, as in Luck, first ballot Hall of Famer. But in the end, I think Tom Brady felt extremely satisfied because they left town with a W, and they're still in, in perfect control to get ready for the Jets, not too high. I completely disagree with you about this, obviously. Uh, let me say this. Um, you know, it's really, really interesting. You know, when, when you're great, Skip, you don't need somebody bloviating about how great you are where they take every little minute thing and blow it up to astronomical proportions. Tom, Tom Brady moved around in the pocket. He was brilliant. Oh, stop. Did you watch? Yes, I watched the whole oh, game. Well, then you saying, must have missed those what, plays. What I'm, no, I'm, it's not that I missed those plays. Mm. It's that they didn't look spectacular. Oh. They looked like Tom Brady. Oh. So we all recognize, and we he's universally recognized as arguably the best quarterback in football. Although I say that bad man Aaron Rodgers is better, it doesn't negate the fact that that's the only debate that exists. There's no other quarterback that is mentioned in the same breath as Tom Brady in the NFL. So just because somebody a couple of weeks ago, whether it be Bart Scott or anybody before him, that did question the toughness of Tom Brady, mm -hmm. isn't a license for Skip Bayless to sit up there and act as if Tom Brady went to get a cup of coffee, he's accomplished something miraculous. Pump mm -hmm. the brakes. He's a four-time Super I've, Bowl I've heard many more than we Bart know, Scott bring know, that up. Well, that, the, 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 well, they brought up his toughness mm -hmm. because that's what they do. But let's be clear about something here.
when you play the quarterback position, one would argue you're one of the toughest people there is because you're not hitting. You're standing back there completely vulnerable and to some degree exposed, and you're taking hits without inflicting punishment. So as far as I'm concerned, that would, that would require a level of toughness, which obviously means that any quarterback, even a Jay Cutler's of the world, are tough mm -hmm. to sit up there and take some hits. So let's get that out the way. Mm -hmm. Now we get to Tom Brady and his level of satisfaction or lag thereof. I don't think Tom Brady was satisfied at all. Mm. You think that he was incredibly satisfied, but he's not showing it. I don't think he was satisfied at all. I'm going to go along the lines of his daddy. Mm. You understand? Tom mm. Brady's father, who talked about how he wanted his son to put up 60. Well, that doesn't mean his son wanted to put up 60. Really? Right? Really? You're you going to sit up there with a the straight mm. face and say that? You're well, going to sit up there and say that Tom Brady didn't want to put up 60? Well, I don't know how realistic, realistic it was to that, put up 60. I'm not saying. We're not yeah. debating the realistic Shoot. proportions oh, of it all. What do you want to put up? Of course. You want to put up Exactly. 80. Well, that's what his yeah. daddy said. All right? So don't refute that. That's obvious. Mm -hmm. He wanted his son to put up 60. Tom Brady probably wanted to do the same. I think that Tom Brady wanted to un annihilate the Indianapolis Colts last night. I think the fact that the game was as competitive as it was, was a disappointment to Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I think that Tom Brady wanted to do to Indy what they did to Buffalo over the first three quarters in week two. I think it was that kind of 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 momentum mm -hmm. of motivation that was that was internalized and i think the fact that the game ended up being far more competitive that the indianapolis coach to their credit which surprised me raised up and said we know y'all are coming for us and stood up like men for the first time against mm -hmm. the indianapolis coach because let's face reality they didn't look like men going up against the indianapolis coach i'm sorry going up against the new england patriots mm -hmm. the previous four encounters but they showed up like men last night and competed and fought and their coach put them in a bad spot with that ridiculously ridiculous fake punt call which we've already debated i think tom brady wanted to annihilate them mm -hmm. i think you could see it in his press conference after the game you that, could well i couldn't that, that's what i felt well I, you must be that, that, that's what i felt mind reader i look well are you no well, not, you, not, you, you, not, I mean, not. you look at people's and their body, their body reactions. You, one minute you're a lip reading expert, uh -huh. another minute you're a body language so expert. What did you see in the press conference? What I saw in the press you conference was a guy frustrated. I, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. You don't. Uh, this is first take. You're not allowed oh. to put words in my oh. mouth. I, I do think that that's for where myself. you're heading, though. No, I think that what Tom, I saw Tom Brady standing up there last night, and I saw an individual that just wasn't thoroughly impressed. He they walked away with the win. He's happy about that. They're undefeated. That's the bottom line. But I really believed that he wanted to annihilate these boys. And the fact that they did not last night, mm -hmm. I thought he walked away as somewhat did, disappointed. Did, did he do everything in his power to annihilate? Yeah. Did, did he play well enough to annihilate, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm saying it's okay. a team effort. But I'm saying he wanted to annihilate. Okay. He wanted a blowout. He, he couldn't be upset with his own performance. No, in, in I didn't say that. I just said, what What did I say? Well, I don't I, know what you said. Well, then I, I'll be quiet yeah. then. Because clearly clear, you don't understand me. I, I did say on several occasions he wanted a blowout. Yeah. How you don't understand that language okay. is beyond so, me. So, I did say a blowout. So, so how, did I not say how that? frustrated could you be if you played your A game? And, and the score was close. You want to blow somebody out, Skip? You can't understand that? That you want to blow somebody up? That you want to demoralize them? That you want to stick your proverbial foot on their proverbial throats and stomp them into the ground for all the, the negative publicity yeah. they brought your way? The fact that the entire offseason we weren't talking about you as a Super Bowl champion, that instead we were talking about you and deflate gate? You're trying to tell okay. me? You yes. guys, look, I'm saying, what? What? tell me, I, you can disagree all you want to, but tell me what is difficult to comprehend about the fact that the man wanted an acknowledge he wanted to see your head down in the second quarter in the third quarter he wanted to see you blown out he wanted to see you beat down he wanted to stomp you into the ground and embarrass you how is that difficult to understand that he could have wanted that okay. how is that because if i knew it was going to be a close game trust me he knew it was going to be a battle okay okay, okay. so so, they, so the they patriots average to they, win the, the patriots sitting up there what was the average score they beat indy by 48 to 7 48 to 17. Yeah. So okay. 48 when, to 17, but he knew that, it was going to be a he, yeah. he knew it was going to be a tight yeah, game. Because they're going to play what he, you just said. They're going to play with their pride. They're going to play like men. They're going to play for to to not be embarrassed. That's what they're going to do. I've and their seen, coach embarrassed. I've them. seen Rex Ryan 
bloviate and brag about pride and manhood and everything else that you wanted to sit up there and throw in, a, in, in an opponent's face and Tom Brady go out there and annihilate them. Yeah. I, it, Tom Brady throughout his career has beat down plenty of folks yeah. who swore they would be ready for the Patriots and they are ready. So all of a sudden, the, the, the encyclopedia on mm -hmm. Tom Brady Me. all of a sudden forgets yeah. that yeah. all of a sudden forget that that Wait. doesn't apply to Tom Brady now. Here's why right? he took such satisfaction. Did you see what his coach did after the game as Tom Brady was leaving the field? I did not. Okay, for the first time that I can ever remember, maybe it's happened once before, but I don't know it, Bill Belichick went after Brady as he left the field to give him a quick hug. Well, he doesn't hug his quarterback on the field in front of the cameras unless it's a very special thing that has just happened. So he went and hugged him because he knew Tom Brady had done everything in Tom Brady's power to extract revenge on the Indianapolis Colts. And he did his part. He couldn't do any more. Their defense gave up some plays. They, they had this. They had that. They, they had the unlucky. You know, they, they got some unlucky bounces on the pick six. But Tom Brady played a special football I game know. with out his, he's down to his third string left tackle, and you're not giving him any credit. I don't. Listen, I, I, I didn't say I didn't. First of all, yeah. I, I said nothing about not giving Tom Brady any credit, and I don't recall saying that Tom Brady didn't do his part. All I said was Tom Brady would have preferred a blowout. Okay. Tom Brady wanted, if you sit up there and you have a level of animosity towards mm -hmm. a particular opponent for any reason, sure. particularly in a physical sport yep. that is football, if you have an opportunity to demoralize them, to mm -hmm. beat them down, it is an opportunity that you would want to take. No one said anything about Tom Brady's performance. Nobody said anything about he didn't perform well enough. All I said was he would have preferred a blowout mm -hmm. and the fact that it didn't happen he seemed a bit disappointed okay. we've seen him in post game conferences where there's a little smirk where he was laughing a little bit where he was very comfortable where okay. he had demoralized folks that didn't appear to be okay. the case what, if what I, I don't know i don't know the man but that's what i what, saw what, what you're missing is he is the leader of this football team even more than bill belichick is the leader of this team mm -hmm. and he knows full well that you can't play your Super Bowl on, on some mid-October, late-October Sunday night with the Jets coming up, unless you have a bye week. Mm -hmm. Maybe he would have been a little more emotional and demonstrative if they had a week off. But it's going to come quickly because they got to travel back on a late Sunday night game. Here come the 4-1 and one Jets. We're going to talk about this game a little later in the show. But trust me, that whole team was coached after the game to say it was just another game. It was almost laughable how everybody interviewed Edelman, Gronk, the man, it's the just man another was, the, game. The, the, man was emotional. the man was emotional in training camp. He was emotional in the preseason. He was emotional in the season opener. He was emotional against Buffalo. He was emotional against Jacksonville. But all of a sudden, he was reserved. We know they were coached. We understand that. We get that. These are the New England Patriots that we were talking about. I'm not debating that. I don't know the man. I don't talk to the man. All I'm saying to you is that based on the Tom Brady that I know, that I have watched throughout the years, I think he was disappointed because the victory wasn't as lopsided mm. as he is accustomed to inflicting when some an opponent annoys him. That is undoubtedly so because we have seen how he has reacted okay. when challenged in the past. And, and I say if he had missed seven or eight passes and thrown a couple of picks and played the way he did against the Chiefs in Kansas City mm -hmm. when they fell to two and two last right. year on Monday night, right. remember that? Mm -hmm. Th then he would have been very frustrated and disappointed after the game. But you think he's very satisfied? Yes. Not so much. Would have liked more of a decisive win. You got the victory, right? 2009, the last time the Colts beat the Patriots, so Luck didn't get the monkey off his back, but Cam did. Cam Newton goes Superman against the Seahawks in Seattle, but did the Panthers win it or did the Hawks lose it? We debate that next.